We are at the National Quartet Convention, sitting with me, Jeff and Sherry Easter and Morgan, and we want to welcome you guys to Gospel Music Today. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to be with you. Now, let me, let me first go back a little bit, because uh, Jeff and Sherry both came from singing families. Give me a little bit of that background. My family's the Lewis family, and they traveled up until the end of last year, traveled 58 years in gospel music, and Jeff's family's the Easter Brothers, and they've done just about that length of time as well. Now, how did Jeff and Sherry meet? Haha, <laughs> at a concert. <laughs> we were actually at a concert in Springdale, Arkansas, and I was with my mom at the time and looked over and saw Jeff and was just completely taken. I was smitten. So I told my mom, I said, who is that over there? I pointed but told her not to look. Well, she looked and he caught us looking. And then he turns around and walks over and introduces himself. And uh, then my mom, after he spoke with her, she then introduced us to each other. And we started dating and was married the next year. How long have Jeff and Sherry been traveling as a, as a group? Well, 25 years. We just celebrated our 25th anniversary. Uh, as Jeff and Sherry, we performed with the Lewis family for three and a half of the years and made records uh, for Benson Record Company. And then uh, in 1988, yep. our first actual with a band was uh, 89, January of 89, New Year's Day. Uh, we, New Year's Eve of 88, we mm -hmm. started our Jeff and Sherry Easter group. Now Morgan is in the group and your and son. Madison. Okay, yes. Madison. Does. Actually, the kids have always been with us on the road. We've always traveled with our kids. Uh, and so they've always done specials and things, you know, came up on stage and, and, you know, maybe sing a song, a special, something like that. But two years ago, Charlotte and Greg Ritchie told us that they would be leaving. And I knew that there would be a huge gap. And I looked at Morgan and I said, you're basically accepting the role of an adult. I said, it's not going to be easy. You're only 14. I said, I started traveling and singing when I was 15. There's a lot of things you have to give up. You got to make choices not to do football games and, and things that normal teenagers do on the weekends. I said, it's a great sacrifice. I said, but the rewards are immense. I said, if you think you want to do it, I think you're, you're completely qualified. And she said she did. And I think she has completely blossomed into a wonderful singer with a wonderful heart. And you know she's blessed so many people, and I'm very grateful. It's nice as a mother to see your kids come into the job that God has gifted them for. And Madison is playing guitar with us. He started at 14, so he's 22 now, gonna be 22 in another month. So we love having our kids on stage with us. They are just uh, incredible, I think. They take very seriously the job that they do and they love it. Now we've seen, we've managed to see Jeff and Sherry maybe once a year at various places. And so we've seen Morgan go from looking really nervous yes. <laughs> to looking very confident. Was that, was that, even though you've been in the, in the atmosphere all this time, was that difficult to get out there on stage? Um, well, I have been singing ever since I was little, and I've never really been nervous ever since I was singing. Just I sang one solo a night, and I was done. And then when I accepted the role to be the third singer, everything just kind of made me even more nervous. I'm like, all right, so this means I'm going to sing all the time. I was like, I can't take any breaks. I can't do anything. I was like, okay, well, this is going to this is going to be hard. All right, and um, but. Through the past couple of years, I've slowly began to become more confident. And I have people tell me, like, oh, I saw you last year, and you were just like this little little turtle in a shell, and now you just really blossom. And so, but. Well, the funny one, too, we've always encouraged our kids on stage to smile. You know, if you have, if you're smiling in the audience, they're going to smile they back smile. at you. And so one of the first nights after one of our concerts, Morgan came to the bus and says, okay, can I stop smiling now? <laughs> you know, it's just. <laughs> And it just comes natural for us to... Well, and two, it's a lot to do with personalities. Like Deborah Talley and I have talked before. The both of us love to sing, but when we were, were younger and coming up, we were bashful. And if I could have sung without an audience looking at me, I probably would have chosen that route because it was it's very intimidating. And, and it's also very... Um, uh, there's a lot of emotion that goes into revealing yourself and opening up. And that's the only way that you can get a message across to people is if you open up and show them your true self. So, you know, there's that exposure and you're just kind of there and, and there's a lot of that going on. And Morgan and Madison both have a little of that tendency like me, whereas Jeff's the kind of person that walks into the center of the room and he's perfectly comfortable there. 
you know, he's very comfortable. The rest of us kind of stay around the wall and we kind of, you know, have to deal with, you know, the, the insecurities, I think. And Morgan has done really well at overcoming you know, those. And two, with every time somebody compliments you, with every recognition, with every award, you become more confident that you are doing what God has gifted you to do. Well, so, I we think sing, she's doing a good job with that. And we sing Saturday night in Princeton, West Virginia. First lady I met when I walked in, she says, wow, you look better in person than you do on video. And I'm like, thank you, Lord, I needed that. You know, I didn't know what I was looking at because sometimes you travel so much, you say, man, I feel tired. Do I look like I feel? And she was precious. But she don't realize that little sentence and kind words that she spoke made my night. That's right. You know, she didn't have to say that. Well, I understand that if you, if you take what you do seriously, and obviously you guys do, it's a, it's a big responsibility every night to hold people's emotions and hopes in your hands. And the main hands. thing is being real. Being yeah. real, yes, being yourself. And, and I think sometimes, you know, you feel the responsibility because we have to choose these songs and we have to know and believe that God is leading us to do certain songs. And not only is that, you know, music itself is a very personal kind of offering. And, and it's so varied as far as people's tastes. Some people like this, some people don't. So you have to know before you get into it. Some people are going to love you, some people are not. It's not like a plumber's job that it's consistently this way. This is very much about taste, you know, and, and so there's a lot at stake. But I warned her ahead of time, and she's done a wonderful job taking that responsibility. Now, we do want to ask you about your health. You look great. I feel great. I feel fabulous. This month actually is 26 months cancer-free. Uh, I go in for more bone scans and CT scans. I tell people, I said, I'm in the best seat in the house because they watch you very closely when you've come through a battle like this. But it was July 2nd of 2008 that I was diagnosed. I went through about a, a year of surgeries and chemotherapy, uh, but I am feeling healthy and strong. I'm exercising every day, and uh, life, is, life is great and getting better. <laughs> Good title for a song. All right. <laughs> Well, Jeff and Sherry and uh, Morgan, thank you very much for talking to us on Gospel Music Today. Thank you, thank you so much. There's more coming up on Gospel Music Today.